This video is going to be talking about how to do two-step mole conversions. Remembering that we're all starting off in the center with moles, with our mole town map, to go up to the top with our mass. We have to use our molar mass. for every one mole. Over on the bottom right we have our volume village. We need to go from our mole center to our volume village. We use our conversion that one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liters of gas. And to go from our mole center We can go out to our particle parkway. And to go from moles to particle park, we have to use Avogadro's number where one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, where a particle can be an atom a molecule or an ion. So take a moment, copy this down or pull out your mole town sheet and this will help you be able to figure out your path to go through two-step mole conversions. So for example if I want to start with my mass and I want to get to volume I'll start up at the top at my mass. I need to go down through my mole center. And then down through volume village. So to get from my mass to my mole, I need to know my grams from my molar mass. And then to get from mole center to volume village, I need to know my 22.4 liters for every one mole. So for example, if I want to calculate how many liters of gas are in 1.3 grams of carbon dioxide. So from an earlier video of going from grams, or excuse me, Going from grams to moles of carbon dioxide, we've calculated that the molar mass of carbon dioxide is equal to 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide because I have 12.01 grams of carbon plus 2 oxygen atoms, so 2 times 16.00 grams of oxygen adds up to 44.01 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. So if I'm starting off with my 1.3 grams of carbon dioxide and I'm going to liters, my first step is going to moles and then from moles to liters. So my 1.3 grams of carbon dioxide, I know that I have 44.01 grams of CO2 for every one mole of CO2. And for every one mole of CO2, I have 22.4 liters of CO2. And that's from going from mole center to volume village. I plug that all into my calculator, my 1.3 grams divided by 4.01 times 22.4. And I get an answer of 0 0.661667, down, down, down. I only have two sig figs to start with, so I can only have two sig figs in my answer. So my answer is 0 0.66 liters of carbon dioxide. Now if instead I wanted to go from, let's say, Particle Park, 
where I have an atom, I have a molecule or an ion, and I want to go to my mass mole, so in grams. Okay. To get there, I need to go through mole center and then from mole center to mass mole. Going from particle park to mole center, I need to use Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then from mole center to mass mole, I have to use my molar mass. So again, using my example of carbon dioxide, let's say that I start with 3.8 times 10 to the 24th molecules. And I want to know how many grams of carbon dioxide do I have. So I start with what I'm given, my 3.8 times 10 to the 24th molecules of CO2. I multiply that, that I have to go from molecules to moles, CO2. For every one mole, I use my Avogadro's number of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then to go from moles of CO2 to grams of CO2, I use my molar mass, which I calculated earlier, to be 44.01 grams of CO2. So in my calculator, I take my 38, I divide it by my 6.02, and I multiply it times 24.01. And I get 277.8 grams. I start with two sig figs, so my answer has to have two sig figs, so 280 grams of CO2 are in 3.8 times 10 to the 24th molecules. So with those conversions, you can go any which way about Moletown. You just need to look at what are you taking to get from one to the next.